hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how i decorated a living room for a client guys for the past few weeks i've been doing this job i've been doing some diy projects and basically today i'll be giving you the big reveal so guys this living room was decorated on a budget so guys come on in <laughs> welcome guys welcome so guys before i get started let me tell you about the color scheme so the client she wanted a neutral color scheme she liked the black the grays the brown so what i did guys was to add some gold and silver to give it some accent in the living room so guys let's get started now so let's get started with this couch over here this sofa was bought at of course, Jamaica Limited in Jamaica, guys. So this is a brown Ashley circular sofa. It's very comfortable. It can seat about six person. So guys, these cushions, I added some cushions. These cushions were made by me. And then I added these four cushions. They were bought at Maxi Department Store. So, you know, and I added that white one to bring up to give the, the couch a little popping look because as you know, the couch is brown and I have to add the white to give it a popping look. And then I added this white throw over here, but at Moxie Department Store, I added the throw to give the couch a more popping look. Anyway, guys, moving on, let's talk about this little storage piece over here, which was made by me, guys. I'll put the link in the description below now we add our throw right here you can add anything you want your remote control anything at all so you know she said she wanted gray she wanted me to keep it neutral so i added that color now guys let us talk about the centerpiece this center table along with the ends table this was bought at courts jamaica limited as well guys and what I did was to add this lovely, exquisite centerpiece decor accessory item to the table to bring up the table. So guys, this item, I made a video on this. I'll put the link down in the description before. Very cheap and affordable. These products, they came from Bashko. So I used this wine glass and I transformed it into candle holders and I used this mirror and I created a tray. So guys, now let's talk about these end tables. So these end tables, they came with the center table as well. So these end tables, I just add a lamp right here. And this lamp came from Ashley's store. And then I added some accessory here, which came from Quartz with some little fake candles. You know, they are blinking guys. So that's what I did, you know. So on these end tables, I like the brown on it. It ties in with the couch and the, the rug. And I like the silver on it. So let's talk about the rug, guys. Wow, I love this rug. It's from LP Azar Limited. The rug, guys, it totally matches. It coordinates with the sofa and the center table. So you know the same brown in the rug. You can you pick it up back, pick it up back from the center table. So guys, I'm so in love with this rug. This rug is like an accent piece in this living room. So this rug base, guys, it basically it give the couch a popping look. So it brings up the couch. So guys, moving on, let's go to my favorite spot and come along, come along, guys. And this is the office, guys. So this table was bought at Quartz along with the chair as well. And guys, let us talk about this lamp. It was bought at Active Home Center. This is a lovely lamp. So guys, this is a task lamp. You can position it exactly where you would want it. That is what I like about the lamp. And the other thing that I like about this lamp, guys, the switch. You just step on it and step off it on and off. And that is how you turn it on. 
So guys, let us talk about this nice family tree. I had a this family tree on the table. This was bought at Amazon. She likes orchid, so I had an orchid on her decks along with a scented candle from Maxi Department Store. This is her organizer. This is where she keeps her pencil, pen, and all those stuff. And that's her printer over here. So this is a very comfortable, nice, cozy office at the back part of the living room. She didn't have any space. She didn't know where to put her office. And I suggested she just put it here for the time being until she finds a permanent office. So guys, let's move on. Let us talk about these drapes. Oh guys, lovely, lovely, lovely drapes. These are pinch printed drapes. They were unsewn by me, guys. Yes, guys, we'll talk about that in another video. So these drapes are very lovely. And, you know, I used green and brown. Yes. And the curtain rods for the drape were bought at Maxi. So there are four windows in the room. Let me show you. There are four windows. And this is how I basically drapes the room, guys. Yes. So, yes, guys. So it's pinch bleed all around and then I just added the brown in the middle here and then I keep the brown at the end for the other two matching windows guys so guys let's move on let's talk about this aquarium guys I'm so sorry I wasn't able I'm not able to show you the before pitch but this was like an empty space so what we did was to get some tiles we got a mason we got someone to build you know i gave her the design and we got somebody to build this aquarium guys and we got these tiles from active home center so i chose this color because i want it to look rustic i want to give it that you know aquatic look or that old rustic look and then what we did after we built the, the, the frame for the fish tank we got a local, um, we went to a local pet shop and we got somebody to build a tank, you know, for the same size and actually fit it inside of the stand. So guys, this is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, she's going to add something at the bottom later on. So that is why, you know, we tied it to the bottom and we, we leave the space underneath it. So... So guys, this shell was bought at court. So this is a shell, you know, it has the cement looking color. So because I wanted to, you know, decorate the aquarium to jazz it up and give it a look, you know, differently from what's inside of the aquarium, I decided to add the shell, the shell on top of the aquarium. This is not the only place in the room where I added the tiles because these tiles were so nice. We just couldn't put them in one place. So guys, let's move on to the accent wall. The TV wall, guys. The TV wall. I'm so in love with this wall. So what I decided to do was to repeat the same tile on the aquarium just to put them on the wall over here and create an accent TV wall. So guys, remember I told you we decorated on a budget. So... The TV, she's supposed to add a TV on the wall here, but you know, the money stops right here. So what we decided to do was to use her old TV. I added a little table right here, you know, to rest this TV on. Added a vase right here. It's very small though, and added the remote there. So this is basically temporary. In the future, she will, you know, get a nice TV to put on the wall. So guys, let's move on. So this vase over here, what I did was to add a little flower right over here. Flowers right over here. This vase came from El Piazar Home Decor Store. And I added some green plants. This plant came from Quartz as well. And here's another green plant over here that came from Quartz. Also, I have another green plant over here, guys. I, I'm so loving this one. You know, these green plants, they are so nice because they look real. They look real. They are fake, but they look real. So this one came from Ashley Home Store, guys. So now, guys, let's move on to my little masterpiece over here. I'm sure most of you remember this. 
Yes, guys. So you remember when I made this and I told you that I made it for someone? Basically, what I was doing was to just do some DIY projects and I was basically decorating this whole room. So this is a china piece. And if you want, if and if you would like to see how I've made this, I'll put a link in the description down below. Also, guys, remember this. Remember I made this little stool. This is an entryway bench. Um, she's not gonna keep this here, but she said she wants a stool in here. So I just added this for the time being to show her how it will look. Cause she said she wants a stool when people come in, they just like they can sit here if they don't have to go on the sofa, they're not staying for long. They can have a little seat here and rest. Yeah, so I added this and then I added this lovely cushion. I added gray to pick up with the silver and then I added some white to give it a little pop, guys. So guys, um, that is basically it. This is like decorating on a budget, guys. Most of these stuff were DIY. So guys, thank you so much for watching. It was so great to have you. If you have not subscribed, do remember to hit the subscribe button down below. Turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified when new videos are posted and stay tuned for more DIY projects. Bye guys. See you in my next DIY video.